Hey everybody, I'm David from Top Shelf Aquatics and welcome back to our Coral Care series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the plague coral. These large polyp stony corals belong to the family Fungiidae. You'll most likely encounter three gorgeous varieties. The Cycloceras plate or short tentacle plate are most commonly seen in orange and green, but there are amazing bicolor, striped, and rainbow color combinations. Their tissue is delicate and can be easily torn. If the plate coral takes a turn for the worst, don't toss the skeleton just yet because some individuals have an uncanny ability to produce babies miniature replicas that sprout from the dead skeleton. Plague corals typically are not suitable to be fragged, but the Dicerius plague can frag itself. This plague coral produces thin, breakable ridges within its skeleton, allowing it to easily be snapped into smaller pieces. The third most common plague coral is the Helofungia, or long tentacle plague coral. These corals tend to be more sensitive to changes in water parameters, making them more suitable to mature reef systems. It is best to keep your plate on the sand bed. The low light environment will have more suitable PAR, ranging between 50 to 100. Provide low water flow, just enough to allow the tentacles to sway in the current. If the plate coral happens to get sand on its tissue, they have the ability to inflate and undulate their tissue in order to remove any sediment. Plate corals will happily accept most coral foods. Their mouths can consume a variety of meaty foods. Here at Top Shelf Aquatics, we feed PE mices, Benepets, Fauna Marin, and LPS pellets. It is best to turn off the flow while the coral is being fed because it can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to consume its entire meal. Watch out for fellow tank inhabitants as they will happily steal a meal from your plate coral. Thank you for joining our Top Shelf Aquatics Coral Care Series. I'm David and we'll see you again in the next episode. Hey, if you enjoyed content like this, be sure to check out the rest of our Coral Care videos. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram.